Nothing's entirely wrong Kick the hole in the game Before multiple views By time be gone Gotta be strong When you're popping The paparazzi form Sliders singing In your local precinct Like You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP, my network partners over at Fox 5. We will be back this week. I know y'all missed us, but there were some things going on in the last couple months, like the UN summit and some things. We got a couple episodes done, but we back in effect. They going up the ladder. They mad make them matter. We, we right back. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're back. So, um, special, good, a good guest this week. You guys will see more. Um, I want to talk to y'all about a couple things in this blog. Each, the, each of the topics were actually blog worthy, but my daughter's got a final softball game tonight, so we're going to, you getting the, you getting the gumbo with the drum roll. We're going to put all of this in one go. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to talk about them both. But I wanted to start, you know, and I have more time to blog now since the Giants season is over. Uh, Daniel Jones tore his ACL yesterday, and it will probably be the end of his era. I'll just talk real quick, you know, some football fans in here. The Eagles played against the Cowboys yesterday. The Eagles beat the Cowboys. I don't really feel like the Cowboys trust their running backs or not. Because I, crazy as it may seem, I think Ezekiel Elliott could have helped Dallas last night. I really do. Now, I know the line ain't opening, creating holes. But I felt like Pollard was a number two who got thrusted into a number one spot. And I don't really feel like he's, an, and this is as a Giants fan, but I'm a football fan. Overall, I mean, Pollard's a great, a good back. He does things. But I think that last night on some of them short, short distances, Zeke could still get two, three yards of carry. You know what I mean? But that's just my opinion. The Giants season is over. We're going to tank. Uh, we'll probably go after one of the top quarterbacks, Drake May, uh, Penix, or uh, Caleb Williams. I like all three. Uh, I never liked Daniel Jones as the number six overall pick. I dealt with him. It's been a good four, long four years. It hasn't been good. We had one surprise year last year, but I think the organization made a bad pick by drafting him just because he was coached by Cutcliffe, who coached the Manning brothers too. So I, I, it was never a good pick. It never worked out well. And now he's touring his ACL. And people say, "Oh, what are they gonna do with that money? They gotta eat that money." They got to eat that money. The fans didn't, didn't give him no $100 million. I wouldn't have never gave him $100. $120 million for him, $160, whatever they gave him. Never. He should have never got that money. They got to eat that. Regardless of what happens, they must eat that because the team will go crazy if they do not draft a quarterback after going probably 2 or 3 and 17, 16, 15. They're not going to win another game this season. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. And as a Giants fan, I, I'm cool with that. But I'm cool with that. But don't go get me no fucking safety in the draft and no top three picking. No, I ain't trying to hear that. You bet to be going to get a quarterback. That's that. Um, so you got, uh, Carl, like I said, there's a couple subjects in battle rap. I'm going to talk about this uh, Danny Myers. We got to talk in a second, man. Like, yeah, yeah. like what are you doing? We got we to gotta talk. We're going to talk in one second. Um, Briz Rothstein. I've been getting you know, a couple people to hit me up. And the one thing I will say about this as a blogger, or as an analyst, or as media, or you know, whatever you guys uh, consider us, artists, leagues, people that's cool with the artist and all of that, that know things will hit us up and let us know things, you know what I'm saying? Because they want some of the words to get out. Like Homecoming, I know the card. It's a pretty solid card, I will say that. It's a solid card. It will, it'll be better than Anything that was on there this year, let's just say it like that. It's a pretty solid car. I'm not going to go blurt it out like, oh, I ain't doing that. But at the same time, we find out very fast. And it, and it don't even be the elite. The elite don't even have to call me. I, I, I don't think I've ever got a call directly from uh, URL with a card. And that's cool. I'm not tripping off that. But I've got a call directly from a whole bunch of other people. Who tell, do, 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 do. They, they, they're going to tell. It's me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm still cool. So, uh... Briz Rothstein. A lot of people asking Briz Rothstein is on homecoming. He is not on homecoming. I can tell you right now, no, he's not. He's not. Um, a lot of people wanted to see the murder moot battle, and we probably will never see it. We probably will never, never see that battle because what I'm hearing, and like I said, this is a phone a phone call that I got. Well, it was a text first, and then a call that I got, and it was saying, "Yo, Vada, basically, you're never gonna see uh, Briz and Moot." And I was like, "Why?" It was like, Briz wants too much money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they're saying. They're saying you want way, 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 way more than, uh, than, 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 than any league 
is uh, is wants to pay. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, and you know they say things like, you know, you are what you what you worth. You know, with whatever somebody's willing to pay you and all that shit like that. But bridge for a battler who has not battled in four years. I was talking to Chris yesterday. And I told him um, a couple days ago, and I told him, you know what I'm saying? Because I seen his blog earlier where he mentioned that I did mention that he has not battled in four years. You know what I'm saying? Literally four years. That's a long. That is way too long outside of battle rap to want to come back and get a uh, premium pay. That's a lot of money. You know, what I'm I don't think that that's gonna um, that that's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? And then they had the. Uh, they had the first joint, then they had the rematch, the, the reloaded, and uh, it, that was like 2020. But the original back, it's just, it, it, it's, it's never, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm hearing upwards of 50,000. I'm sorry, like, I rock with Briz, but ain't nobody paying you that. Ain't no, there ain't no league. I don't care who it is, there's no league that wants to pay you that kind of money. I don't think so. No, absolutely not. I can name on one hand how many battle rappers are probably fetching 50, and I could name five more that they would probably give 50 before they gave you. It's just not. That's a lot of money. I don't know who told him the price was that high. I understand that he hasn't been in battle rap for a while, but there are going to be some fans in the comments that don't even want to hear me talk about this shit. They'd rather me talk about some other shit, which is what I'm going to talk about once I'm done with this subject. But it's just too much. Like, for you to walk away from the sport for that long and nobody knows what you're going to bring, it's like, we don't know what you're going to bring. We know what Mook is going to bring. I felt like it was too long. I've been saying this. He should have came back already. Even if it was against someone else, just to get that ring rust off, just to stand in front of that round. Oh, you're going to get that round. <laughs> Whenever you come back, that round is on ice waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? Why your seatbelt don't work? Because you don't ride with you. You getting that. Oh, you are getting that. I promise you. You're gonna get that. The papoose, that's how you talk to your bit. You getting that. You, you just be ready for it. Just be just, just be ready for it, because it's coming. Um, but still, regardless, they're saying that um, I mean a lot of things, and I've seen it in blogs, I've seen Chris's blog, and I've had a conversation earlier, and it's like, you know, you want the battle here, but then you don't want the battle there, but then you know, you gotta get paid the same amount as move. Bro, if they give <laughs> if they give you what they give him, they might as well just shut the league down for the rest of the year. Because guess what's going to happen after that? Everybody else that sees this is going to want their prices raised. And they're not going to be running around here just paying everybody 50 dollars 50 dollars 50 whoa, 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 hold on, nigga. We ain't even pay you last card. Now you want, we ain't even pay you last card. Now you want 50000 too? Get this nigga up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to get crazy. So they can't even ruin uh, what P calls the locker room and other people that's all involved in you. They can't ruin the locker room like that, just giving niggas money like that. They cannot ruin what they got going on, especially when they got a lot of young, impressionable guys who are just coming on. You know what I'm saying? I've been having we've been having conversations recently about where our stars created. You know what I'm saying? Our stars created on YouTube or our stars created on the app. Now, if you really, really think about it, the only person that really been created and got big on YouTube in the last like five to seven years off of YouTube alone would probably be uh, a word and then he's not really considered a new artist You know what I'm saying and without no hate to any league. There's no artists. There's no leagues. That's out here breaking artists I told P this shit. I was like now who's nobody's really breaking breaking artists like you know There's a lot of you know RBE has the intake process and you know what I'm saying they got they the their newer battlers and shit like that that they're building but URL, like, they, you are known. You can't get credit for I told him you can't get credit for what you're known for. I told Pete this. You cannot get credit for what you're known for. We know you for creating stars. Where's the next one? Nobody wants to hear why hasn't Chrome created an artist. Chrome ain't here to create no art. Pete, Chrome ain't. I'm going to send you this blog. I'm going to send you this motherfucking blog. P, I swear, when I record this blog, I'm sending it to you. That's my guy, too. You know, we've had ups and downs, but we, got, we, we, we straight, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sending you this blog. I want you to see this. Y'all are known for creating stars. You the niggas with the proven grounds. PG, T-Top, Chess, uh, all them niggas that came with that saga prep. Them niggas, yeah, you did that. Then y'all turned around and y'all found Av and Mike P and uh, Jerry West and New Jersey Twerk. Nigga, that's what y'all do. Y'all created that farmhouse. So, yeah, we expect you to keep on churning out the next artist and the next artist. I can't expect another league to reinvent the wheel. So, I'm not even going to say that. I will not say that I expect another league to, to start doing that. Because they ain't done it. How can I expect to someone to do something that I've never seen them do? You know what I'm saying? 
Norbs was out there all over the place. This nigga was fighting behind grills and beefing in other cities and states trying to find these niggas. They had to go through hoops and harm and hell to get some of these artists up here. So I ain't expecting that. But when it comes to YouTube, uh, YouTube is a very viable tool. I know they say that the only people that are really successful off of YouTube are like the bloggers and battle rap. They're saying like battle is like leagues and battle and bloggers because we, obviously we're here every day. We're here every day. We're here every day. Some shit pop off. If I go out to my daughter's softball game later and some shit pop off when I get back 9 o'clock, uh, 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 10 o'clock, we're right back outside. And don't let it be too crazy because I, nah, I'll wait till the game is over. But what I'm saying is we got phones. We got everything to where we could literally be a walking news channel, you know what I'm saying? And then the fact that me and SP is on Fox, people want to get their news out there quick. They send it to bam, 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 bam. So what I'm saying is, do I believe that the artist should be on YouTube, the newer guys? Yes, I do believe that. I do believe it. He says that, uh, you know, they, they, their argument is compelling, which is, you know, the app has created a bunch of guys. The app did create easy. The app did create a lot of these guys. No matter what they say, a lot of their first looks came off the app. But at the same time, <laughs> when it comes to extended visibility, it could it could supersede itself by having the artist outside the app too. Whoever's the nicest one, you know, like around on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Like something to like incentivize these guys. I mean, I hear what you're saying and I understand why you want to keep them internalized, but there's so many people that would want to, like, if you got to think, right? Because I went to school for marketing, right? So. If you, that's why I got my degree in. So if you have an artist that has 500 fans or a thousand fans and you blast their stuff out to the whole world, you can do a million views on YouTube. I'm not saying that one of them would, but they easily do more views than they're going to do views outside the app. If 60,000 people see this person and maybe two, 300 like them, that's more people that's going to move to the other side, may cop the app just to see them more, may support them, may buy merch, may follow them on social media. That's what I'm saying. Help to continue build these people up when it's not conducive for what you got going on. Because I've noticed in times when artists have things going on, if they don't have nothing to do with our URL, they ain't fucking with it. Easy to block capital was on the whole goddamn Super Bowl and they just said nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've seen other artists do things and they've said nothing about it. I had Geechee on Fox. They said nothing. I mean, you know, I'm not expecting y'all. I know y'all don't fuck with me. So I ain't expecting y'all to say nothing. But some of the moves that he made, Geechee was on The Breakfast Club. They was playing his shit when he, uh, when he, when he, when he won versus uh, Easy. Now, I understand. He did it on Chrome, so y'all don't give a fuck about it. But at the same time, I look past it. Like, this is still my artist. And I want to see them in the best position possible. The way URL operates is they want to see you in the best position possible as long as they're the reason why it happens. <laughs> it's like the Kobe syndrome, you know what I'm saying? Kobe's my favorite player. Actually, my whole side over there is decorated with Kobe Bryant shit. But at, towards the end of his career, he wanted to be the reason that they won. And if he was not the main reason why they was winning, then it really was like, all right, cool, I'm out of here. And that's the same way with them. I think sometimes we see a little past ourselves and look into the actual artist's success. It would mean more. I mean, like I said, I'm not telling you to change what y'all be doing, but I know niggas in jail. I know niggas in college. I know a lot of niggas that don't got $8.99 a month for that app and would love to see some of these artists on YouTube. Now, y'all do what y'all do, but it's it. Back to Briz. Oh, uh, yeah, 50000 is just not happening, my boy. I'm sorry. I, I've been out here. The four, last four years that you haven't battled, I've been around. I listen. I got a TV show. I know what the market is. You're trying to sell your house for way more than this neighborhood is valued. You can't sell a house for four hundred thousand if every house on the street is worth one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Unless you got a hella, hella pad back. <laughs> Do you have a hella pad back there? Because if not, you're not going to get 425 if everything else is going for 125. It's just called a comparative market analysis. They do that in real estate where you take three homes and you compare everything and you put the prices of all three homes. And then based off of the value of one, you can see what the value of the other should be depending on what's involved with it. Like if this one has two bathrooms, this one has one, this one has three. There, it's a lot of shit that goes into it. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that, that, I, I mean, Briz, you're, you're, you're only hurting, hurting your own value at this time. Because nobody's paying you $50,000. i am sorry. Nah, it ain't going to work. Especially for it got to be in a small room, or got to be in a ball room, or got to be in a ball room, or got to be in a mall room. Can't be here, can't be there. The water got to be this. We got to have blue cups, not regular. No, ain't nobody doing all that shit. If you're battling, you're battling. I always fucks with you. I respect what you do, and I'm always rocking what you do. But if you're around the culture, you're going to events and all this other you might as well go get paid too. I know, who don't want a $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 check? Nigga, I know you want that bread. I know your pride is a motherfucker. I know pride is a bitch. 
I will battle for this nigga. Tell him to call me with whatever. <laughs> I bet you I'll be there. Fuck it, I'll come through, man. Tell these niggas. You know, you can get rounds for 1500. Hey, cop, well, I, never mind. Um, scratch all that. Just, just delete all that. Anyway, nah, shout out to Braves, man, but 50,000 is probably not gonna, um, not gonna happen. But, uh, Danny, Danny, Danny. <clears throat> now, I know you be rocking with, um, NBS Sports, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Danny Meyer, shout out to NBS KO and all that shit, right? Alright, y'all be making lists, right? For like the top battlers and the power rankings every month. Y'all gotta do a little bit more, man. I, I don't, I've done, I've done them with y'all before. I be really busy and shit, so I don't really got time to really commit myself to anything but what I have going on. Especially with kids, work, television, and work is this, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it's just, it's just way too much. So I don't have time to commit myself to nothing. But, you cannot come out with a power ranking list for the month of October, right? Have Jazz, Shuni, Forty, Hustle, Casey J on here. And not have Coffee Brown. Like, bro, like, hey, ain't no damn way. Do you see all comments on this post? Every single comment is saying, where's Coffee? Do you know Coffee just beat Chuni? 3 0? Do you know? <laughs> Y'all think <it's laughs> Danny, you the one that's popular, so you gotta take the blame, my nigga. What do you have going on? How can you have a list and you do not have Coffee Brown's name on the list and the person you have at number two? She beat <laughs> in the month of October. Yo, get get it right, man. I swear y'all gotta get that right, man. Y'all got to get that right. Hey nigga, I ain't done. Y'all gotta get that right. Nah, 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 nah. What are y'all doing? How do you have someone number two on a list when they got 30 by somebody who's not on the list? Nigga! Pull up, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit. What in the college football playoff shit do y'all got going on? Next time y'all make a list, send it to me. Send me the list first. I want to see it. Y'all, we got to proofread that shit. You, y'all nigga, I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Kale, I already know. You got one or two cases already. You know what I'm saying? Danny, I'm putting a case on you because ain't no way. I know damn well you did not leave coffee off of a list when she just 3 0 this woman. I literally watched it last night. I was like, yo, Coffee needs some love because Coffee went crazy in this battle. Her flow is getting better. Her punches is heavy. She's wilding on Shuni. Like, what? And Shuni was choking in every round and shit. Like, well, in the second, the second and third, I stopped kind of watching it because I was like, you know, and I was like, but I heard it, but then I went back to it, but then I didn't go back to it. I said, ain't no fucking way you got her on the list over her and I rock with Shuni. We just hosted the joint together. I hope we do another one. But y'all know my comedy. It is what it is. She was getting smoked up there, and y'all got coffee off the list. Take this shit, take it down. Tell MBS to take that shit down today. We ain't doing that. I fuck with y'all, but we ain't doing that. Ain't no motherfucking way. Coffee better get on this goddamn list. We need a revised list. I need a revised list by 10 o'clock tonight. You niggas, I'm putting cases on you bitches. We're not doing this shit. Coffee smoked her. Why is she number? I can see if you... I can't even fathom it. And I fuck with Shuni. Y'all know I do. I was just on the host of shit. But you know what I'm saying. If you with it, you get it. Everybody in the car with him, get the bra with him. Fix this shit tonight. Y'all are bugging. Coffee belongs on this list, my nigga. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way. Look at this shit. Look, look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. I saved it for you. Y'all don't have her on the list at all, my nigga? Like, at all. And I wrote coffee. Coffee brown, fellas. Coffee brown. Like, not on the list at all is wild. I can see if y'all had that, like, now I couldn't even see her if you had her under somebody that she beat. Like, I don't understand how y'all do that. I'm still talking. Let me keep talking to these niggas, because these niggas ain't listening. How the fuck do you not have Coffee Brown on a list when she beat the person that you have as number two? Y'all niggas got to tighten this shit up, man. Like, this is because y'all fucking it up for all the media, bro. And I'm scrolling through the comments on y'all post, and look at this shit, man. We're going to leave to this coffee emoji. They laughing at y'all niggas, man. Look at these fucking comments, man. Everybody in this bitch talking about coffee, 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 coffee. Look at them niggas. Yo, Danny, Danny, ain't no fucking homecoming for you if y'all niggas don't straighten this shit out tonight. Every comment, absolutely wrong. Shout out to y'all. I rock with you, Danny, but ain't no fucking way. What parallel universe is you living in? Do you niggas got the app? Send me a screenshot of y'all app, because y'all got to take this shit down. I need to know that you niggas. <laughs> I'm out, man. Gang.